I don't understand how people don't see that we're in the end times. Nations are rising against nations. All the signs that Jesus said would happen is happening. I don't understand why people don't see it. What's blinding you? What's blinding you from being able to see? What's blinding your vision? You need some oil in your lamp. You need some oil in your lamp so that you can have some light. You need some light. You can't be like the foolish virgins. They didn't have enough oil. They wanted oil from the wise virgins. And the wise virgins said, nope, we're not giving you no oil. Go get your own oil. You have to get your own oil from Jesus. You have to get your own oil from God's word. You have to get your own oil from heaven so that you can have light. The dark hour is coming. And you need light. You need oil. You need fire. Hallelujah. If you're lukewarm, you need to get hot for Jesus. Jesus said he will vomit lukewarm Christians out of his mouth. You need to get hot for Jesus, get you some oil, because all the things that I see is all signs pointing to the Antichrist, pointing to the mark of the beast. The beast is coming. The beast is coming. And people's going to take the mark of the beast if they're not saved. Are you saved? Are you hot for Jesus? Do you have some oil in your lamp? Or are you like the foolish virgins that don't have enough oil? You're worldly. You're in the world. You're being a worker of sin. And you say, you believe, you believe. People say, I believe in Jesus. And they practice vile sins. When you say you believe in Jesus today, it's just a Christian cliche. Everybody says, I believe in Jesus. I believe. It's a Christian cliche. Oh, brother, we're saved by grace, brother. We're saved by grace. That is a Christian cliche. People say that all the time and they practice wicked sin. People, you have to live holy and committed to Jesus. You have to pick up your cross. We're in the end times. It's time to wake up. It's time for the church to return back to their first love. Some of you have backslid. Go back to God. Go back to Jesus. Repent and go back to the Lord. We're in the end times. The beast is coming. The mark of the beast is coming. If you're not hot for Jesus, you're going to take the mark of the beast. Wake up. That's what you need to do is wake up. Awaken to righteousness. Awaken to righteousness. Arise and wake up. Don't be a pew warmer. Don't be a lukewarm pew warmer. If you're in these false churches that make people into pew warmers, you need to repent and come out of the false church and get hot for Jesus. Run to God's Word. Run to secret prayer with God and get hot for Jesus because time is ticking away. Time is ticking away. Do you hear the clock running out of time? There's many people, they live worldly and they say they believe. They believe. People, don't deceive yourself. Be doers of the word. Not here is only deceiving yourself. I preach this all the time and people get offended at me. That's because their heart is not right with Jesus. When people get offended when the word of God is preached, their heart is not right with Jesus. We're in the end times. The beast is coming. Get hot for Jesus. If you're backslidden and got lukewarm, go back to Jesus. Go back to Jesus. Repent and believe on the Lord and 
commit your life to Jesus and preach God's word. We're in the end times. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name.